Hey Internet, it's RJ. Welcome back. Thanks for tuning into the show today. Now today's episode, we have a very interesting offer from PNC for their cash rewards card. This one's kind of a choose your own adventure because they're offering a cash back match for the first year of card member ownership. So really how much you can make is to be dependent on how you play this. So of course, we'll break all that down for you as well as the offer, terms, conditions, requirements, eligibility, everything you need to know to make PNC's money become your money. So of course, if that sounds interesting to you, then go ahead, press the subscribe button and let's get to work. Now there'll be a blog post down below but when we talk about the offer page, there really isn't one because this is an in-branch deal. So I do have the uh, the in-branch material, the flyer, if you will. So in the blog post, there's a picture of this if you want it for your records. Of course, they can give you one in-branch, but this is what we will be uh, be referencing there. So that is the offer page. I will be the happy person for this one because this is a card I've wanted for quite some time. It's a very, if you know me from the main channel, you know I'm pretty heavy into cashback cards. And this is like an underrated sleeper cashback card out there in the game. So I'm very happy to have applied for it. Um, but let's take a look at it here with the requirements. This will start to make sense in a second. So again, the, the requirements would be apply in branch and be approved for the new PNC cash rewards card. Now, instead of like a, a spend threshold or spend requirement like you're used to, they're offering uh, double cash back. So earn double cash back for the first card member year and the double cash post uh, to your account at the end of the at your first year. And that's really the promotion. So you don't have to like spend $2,000 or whatever. Now, if you go to the main page, PNC's homepage, you, I believe you'll still see like the spend a thousand to get $200 offer. You could do that one if you prefer. This offer is much better. Again, it's in branch only. We'll talk about it in a second. Uh, but you know, overall, just the one thing to note here. Again, this is going to go through November sixth. And uh, if you do, when you do go, even my PNC business card, and then again this one uh, in branch, I still went pending, which I hear is a norm uh, for them. You'll go pending. The later someone's likely to call you from the back office to go over some questions and just document you giving them answers for an extra layer of security, I assume. Uh, so don't be surprised if that happens. Happened to me two times now with PNC. So not the end of the world. Just you know, delayed gratification, if you will. So there is that. Now let's get into eligibility here, and eventually the card and the strategy itself. So eligibility. Uh, again, this is going to be an in-branch offer. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. There's also language in the terms that says if you physically can't make it into a branch, you can phone into the branch. I don't know how like uptight they're going to be with that. I don't. I don't think that's just a hey. It, you can phone in just because you didn't want to go, you know, drive really far, but you never know. And of course, this is limited to one cash rewards uh, bonus in a two-year period. So uh, PNC, if you go to their branch locator, which is linked for you in the blog post, they're in about 25 of the 50 states branch-wise. Now, again, we try to make these offers, do offers on this page. They're just nationwide. But with them being in half the states and this being open till or early November, you know, I got to imagine, you know, many of us will, you know, you'll, you'll pass a PNC in your travels uh, somehow, which I think is, is worth it just to keep this in your back pocket. Um, in addition to that, if you were to go over to ProfitableContent.com, again, the channel's blog, PNC has personal promotions, they have business promotions, and they also have a business cash rewards credit card, it's the blue one. Um, so you could you could line up all of those plus this card. You could do some damage in a PNC, and I imagine they would be happy to, to host you for like an hour or something. Well, once you open one account, the rest of them actually don't take that long. So you know you'd be there for a little bit, but you could do some damage. You could actually make this trip pretty worth it. I did recently open their business credit card and their business uh, checking. I will be eligible to open their personal account again. I think in another month or so. So you could line it all up and you could do some real damage. So I don't think it's out of the realm of a possibility by any means. Of course, there is no annual fee to this card and it is a credit card. So you want to keep it open for one year. But again, for many of us, myself included, this will be a keeper card. And I'll show you why now. So if we take a look at the cash rewards card. Well, uh, it's pretty good. It's uh, 4x gas, 3x restaurants and 2x groceries and 1x back everything. Now those first three multipliers are basically they work for up to eight thousand dollars to spend in combined purchases uh, per card member year. Then one X after that. Then of course your eight K cap resets. You know um, the next card member year. So you know for gas alone, even without this intro offer, it's a pretty good gas card. Uh, you know, I mean the Costco card comes to mind. But if you're not talking about like category cards or custom cash, and this is actually I think the highest gas card I know of uh, for cash back and no annual fee. So for me, definite keeper card. 
Now, that's when the strategy piece comes to play because it's cash back match. So again, there's no cap. They don't list a cap on the cash back that they'll match. It's kind of like the Discover It cash card in that regard. Well, they'll match the cash back for the first year. Uh, but, you know, after you get past that, you know, $8,000 cap for those core categories, for many of us, we have diminishing returns. Now, obviously, if you don't have a 2% card because that's what you'd be getting with a cash back match, then you, you could keep using this and that'd be fine. But many of us will have, you know, better cards once we pass that 8K threshold. So for me personally, I'm just really kind of debating, do you focus it all on the gas category, it, which would essentially be 8% back? And you'd have to do that usually by incorporating a gift card strategy. So like we're in iPhone time right now. Maybe you go to the gas station, like Speedway's around here, sell all the gift cards and then buy Apple gift cards and go buy your phone. Uh, you could do that and that would be the way to get maximum value for it. The other alternative I've had is just incorporate it into my everyday life. For me, it would be it would be the top two categories. For groceries, I have the hunting and business voice, which I can select groceries as my category. It would be 4X back, so I might as well leave that over there and then just focus it on over here. Between dining and gas and some gift cards, you would probably hit the 8K cap, I'm sure in a year but again Matt, it's Matt do you want maximum value the greedy person in me says yes or do you just want kind of ease of use and corporate into your everyday life because again I don't have a six percent dining card my closest dining card would be five percent or technically five and a quarter if I wanted to use my Bank of America customized cash via preferred reward so you have options so I'm debating just all gas gift card strategy and regular gas purchases or just kind of incorporating it for more ease of use I mean either way you're still going to come out much much more ahead than the regular two hundred dollar offer so for me this is a really good offer I was really glad to be able to go and branch and apply for this card Again, as the last note, is a hard pull, and it will count towards the Chase 524 slot if you're kind of monitoring your Chase 524 status. But overall, I think it's uh, I think it's worth it for this one. I was excited to go in branch and get this one. So uh, with that, let's do the summary slide here to wrap us up. Again, the target is PNC. The product is the Cash Rewards credit card. It's not nationwide per se, but it's in many, many states, and you have some time, so you can probably road trip. But you might even be able to phone in. If you do phone in from a another state let us know down below um, again your requirements are just going to be apply and be approved for the card there's technically no spend requirements just uh, keep a running total of that where you're at on the eight thousand dollars because there's no real reason to go over that and just kind of figure out how you want to do your spending um, again there is this is a no annual fee card and you can close it if you want after a year but again for me i'm going to keep it open so again, guys, if this one isn't for you, or better yet, you want to stack on even more to PNC, well then check out ProfitableContent.com. That is the channel's blog where we have the latest credit card offers, uh, just like this one. Not as good, though, but uh, uh, I hope it to be as good as one. This one's, this one's a unicorn offer, in my opinion. Anyways, we've got news stories, and we have other bank promotions as well. So, you know, if you're going to make a run, you might as well go grab a few offers. You can filter by states, you know, to really get your value out. And if you do that, let me know down below. I would love to hear your stories. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this one. So, of course, if you liked it, drop me a thumbs up down below. If you're not particularly interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. We're posting content just like this every single week on how to make the bank's money become your money. As always, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you very soon in the next one.